Today, I want to share something that will completely change the way you see yourself and the life you're living. I'm talking about reprogramming your subconscious mind. I know that might sound a little mysterious or even a bit like science fiction, but stay with me because by the end of this video, you're going to understand exactly how it works, why it matters more than you can imagine, and what you can start doing tonight to literally rewrite the code that drives almost everything you think, feel, and do. Let's start with a simple but mind-blowing fact. About 95% of what you do every single day is controlled by a part of your brain you hardly ever think about. Every choice, Every habit, every snap judgment is influenced by the subconscious mind. When you brush your teeth, drive a car, reach for your phone, or even decide whether you like someone you just met, that's your subconscious running the show. Your conscious mind, the part you think of as you, is like the captain of a ship who gives commands, but the crew below deck, the subconscious, is the one actually steering the wheel, adjusting the sails, and keeping the whole thing moving. And if you're not giving the right commands, or if your crew was trained badly when you were younger, that ship might be heading in a direction you don't even want. Before we dive deeper, hit subscribe and tap the bell right now, because over the next few minutes, I'm sharing the exact science-backed steps to re-rate the code in your mind. This isn't just another motivational talk. These are practical tools that thousands of people use to break bad habits, attract better relationships, and literally rewire their brain. Stay with me till the end because the final part isn't just theory. It's a nighttime reprogramming method you can start today that takes less than five minutes and can change the way you think while you sleep. Miss the ending and you'll miss the single most powerful technique of the whole video. Here's the good news. You're not stuck with the programming you got as a child or the patterns you accidentally picked up from parents, teachers, advertising, or a painful breakup. Neuroscience has proven something called neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to change and rewire itself throughout life. That means you can literally create new neural pathways and override old ones. Think of it like updating the software on your phone. The hardware is the same, but the system gets an upgrade. And when the system changes, the way the hardware performs changes. I want you to imagine for a second that your subconscious is like a giant library. Every book on those shelves is a belief you've picked up. Money is hard to earn. People can't be trusted. I'm not good enough. Relationships always end badly. Some of those books might be positive. Maybe you have a belief that you're resilient or creative, but many of them were written before you even knew how to choose what you believe. Maybe your parents fought about money, so you unconsciously stored the idea that money causes conflict. Maybe you got rejected in school and wrote a book that says love equals pain. The crazy thing is that as adults, we keep reading those same old books and wondering why our lives look the same. So how do you rewrite those books? The first step is understanding how the subconscious actually learns. It doesn't speak in complicated logic. It speaks in repetition, images, and emotion. That's why experiences with strong emotion, good or bad, get burned into memory so deeply. Remember the first time you rode a bike or the smell of your grandmother's kitchen? That's the subconscious storing emotional data. And this is also why affirmations or positive thinking only work if you combine them with feeling. Just repeating, I'm rich, without emotion, is like typing on a keyboard that isn't plugged in. The subconscious needs to feel it. One of the most powerful windows for reprogramming is the half-awake state, right after you wake up and right before you fall asleep. Scientists call this the theta brainwave state. In theta, your brain is more relaxed and more suggestible, kind of like when you were a kid soaking up everything around you. That's why morning and night routines are so important. If you spend the first 10 minutes of your day scrolling through stressful news, you're feeding your subconscious a breakfast of fear and scarcity. But if you use that time to visualize the life you want or repeat identity-based affirmations, you're planting seeds that will grow all day. Identity is a key word here. Instead of saying, I will be confident, say, I am becoming a confident person. Or even better, I am confident. Your subconscious doesn't distinguish much between imagination and reality. 
MRI studies show that visualizing an action activates the same brain regions as actually doing it. Athletes use this all the time. Olympic swimmers mentally rehearse every stroke before they even touch the water. You can use the same principle for anything. Seeing yourself speaking calmly in a meeting, visualizing a healthy relationship, imagining yourself making choices from abundance instead of fear. The more vivid the image and the stronger the emotion, the faster the new neural pathways form. Let me share a quick story. A client I once worked with struggled with social anxiety for years. She could barely speak in group settings and avoided parties altogether. Instead of only practicing exposure therapy, we added a daily visualization routine. Every morning, she imagined herself walking into a room, smiling, shaking hands, feeling calm and warm. At first, it felt fake, but she kept at it, adding small physical actions like relaxing her shoulders and breathing deeply to match the mental image. About three months, she realized she was naturally greeting people without panic. Her subconscious had accepted the new identity, I'm a person who feels comfortable meeting others. Now, it's important to pair mental work with small physical habits. This is where habit stacking comes in a term from behavior science that simply means adding a new micro habit onto an existing one. Let's say you already brush your teeth every night. Right after brushing, spend two minutes repeating a key affirmation in front of the mirror. Or after pouring your morning coffee, take 60 seconds to visualize a goal. Because the subconscious thrives on repetition, linking a new habit to an old one makes the new programming stick faster. Journaling is another underestimated tool. When you write down a limiting belief like, I'm terrible with money, and then reframe it on paper, I'm learning new ways to handle money wisely, you're engaging both the analytical and creative sides of your brain. Studies from neuroscience labs show that writing lowers the emotional charge around painful memories, which makes it easier for the subconscious to accept a new story. Try this tonight. List three beliefs that hold you back. For each one, write a new belief that supports where you want to go. Don't just think it, write it. And let's not forget meditation. Harvard studies show that consistent meditation actually changes the structure of the brain, shrinking the amygdala, which is responsible for fear and stress, and strengthening the prefrontal cortex, which governs decision-making. A calmer brain is a more programmable brain. Even five minutes of mindfulness a day helps lower the mental noise that keeps old programs running unchecked. Environment matters too. Your subconscious is always listening, even when you think you're not paying attention. That means the music you play, the conversations you hear, the people you spend time with, even the colors in your room are all sending signals. Curating your environment, uplifting podcasts, supportive friends, inspirational quotes on your wall reinforce the new programming without effort. It's like surrounding your mind with friendly reminders of who you're becoming. Now, I know this sounds exciting, but let's keep it real. Reprogramming isn't magic and it's not instant. Think of it like building a muscle. If you go to the gym once and lift a heavy weight, you won't wake up with biceps. But if you lift a manageable weight every day, your body will change. The same is true for the brain. Consistency and emotion are everything. When you combine daily practices with genuine feeling, gratitude, excitement, love, you create the conditions for lasting change. Here's a simple routine you can start tonight. As you lie in bed, before you grab your phone, close your eyes and visualize the person you want to be tomorrow. Maybe it's someone who speaks with confidence, someone who chooses healthy food, someone who approaches their partner with love. See it clearly. Feel the emotions as if it's happening now. Silently repeat three I am becoming statements that match that vision. Then, as you drift to sleep, let the images play like a gentle movie. In the morning, before checking notifications, repeat the process for just five minutes. Do this for 21 days and watch how your thoughts and choices begin to shift almost automatically. Think about this. Every belief you hold today was programmed through repetition. You didn't decide one day, I'm afraid of public speaking. It came from repeated messages and emotional experiences. That means you can program confidence the same way. Through repeated, emotionally charged experiences, you create intentionally. So if there's one takeaway from this entire video, it's this. 
your subconscious mind is not your enemy. It's a loyal servant that will faithfully carry out whatever instructions you feed it. Most of those instructions were installed by accident, but starting right now, you can choose to be the author of the next chapter. You can decide which books stay on the shelf and which ones get rewritten. If you're ready to stop letting old programming run your life, show your subconscious you mean business. Type the word rewire in the comments. Writing it out isn't just for me. It's a micro commitment that signals to your brain that change starts now. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Every video on this channel is a new repetition and repetition is how your subconscious learns. By subscribing, you're literally training your mind to expect growth and transformation every week. Your subconscious has been shaping your life for years. From this moment on, you can shape it back. The code is in your hands. Start tonight.